I know some folks gripe about it, but I actually think it's really awesome that we have the ability to take photos with what we have in our hands every day, our phones. So how can you take better photos with your phone with whatever device you have? It's a pretty complex question, but there's a simple answer. Dial in Lightroom Mobile. Lightroom Mobile is a really amazing application that allows you to take further control of the kind of photos you want to take directly with your phone, and it has a secret weapon. What is it? Pro mode. Why? Let's get into it. So to get started, grab your phone, unlock it, open Lightroom Mobile. Immediately when you open it, you'll see in the bottom right corner there's a little camera button. Tap on that, and you'll notice there's an automatic pops up. This is kind of like point and shoot. It gives you options to change which lens you want to use, telephoto, wide, ultra-wide, whatever lenses your specific camera model offers. You can also lock your exposure and use sweet presets early in your images. I would hold off on this because you can always edit them after, but the really cool feature in Lightroom Mobile is you can make a digital negative DNG file. That allows you to create a raw file, which is amazing. A raw file gives you way more latitude in your edit, but it's something that you don't want to employ all the time because raw files take up a lot of space and you don't want to max your phone out by just spamming a ton of raw images. Sometimes you can take JPEGs. Save the raw for the photos you really want to nail. Stick around and I'll show you how to edit these raw files in Creative Cloud Express. Now, if you want to find Pro Mode, tap down here and you'll see an option that comes up that says Pro. Now, you get a bunch of new features. Let's go through a couple that I think will make your journey as a photographer easier. Feature one, exposure compensation. Instead of just pointing and shooting, you can now alter your exposure compensation. What is that? Exposure compensation lets you take control of your camera's exposure to make it brighter or darker easily. You want to use it when your camera sensor isn't exposing properly for a scene. I use it sometimes when I'm trying to make a silhouette or if I'm photographing a person and the sensor isn't working properly. Number two is shutter speed. Shutter speed is how long or short the shutter in your camera stays open. You want to use this when you're photographing something that's moving very quickly and you want to freeze the motion in, or you want to take a slow shutter shot that moves artistically, sort of like what we did with Savannah earlier today. Feature three is ISO. ISO is how sensitive your camera is to light. It's important to adjust if you're in a dark setting like a club or a concert and you're taking photos essentially in the dark. You may need to increase it sometimes, but when you do, it does make your camera more sensitive to light, and this does reduce the quality of the image, so it's sort of a trade-off. I use it sometimes at concerts, or I'm taking a photo at a family function and it's late in the day around a campfire or something. Our last feature, focus distance, or manual focus. What is it? It allows you to take control of the focus on your phone. This is amazing because you can brighten your scene and you can expose for something else. Having this flexibility to adjust your exposure and your ISO opens up a ton of possibilities for how your photos can turn out. I'm sure you're itching to get these photos edited. Watch video two and I'll show you how to do that in Adobe Express. All this gives you more decisions to make in your camera beforehand, which can be overwhelming, but it gives you more options and helps you better understand all the things you want in photography. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please let me know what you found most helpful in the comments below. If there's anything you'd like me to add or make a second video about, I'd be more than happy to. Just let me know in the comments. And if you want to stay up to date with more dope videos of mine or regular videos of mine, whatever, um, and take better photos, subscribe and follow me all over the internet. Thanks. Appreciate y'all.